Dixie Michelle, and uh, I got an uh, email this week of somebody putting a comment on one of my videos about uh, hammering the frets into a fingerboard. And the question was, how do you level them off after you've put them in there? So that made me think, well, this would be a good video. So I started doing this this morning. So I'm going to explain all of the steps that I do in this process of leveling the frets. And first I start with a smooth cut file. Now, I was doing it just now with this file because this is a mandolin and it's got a very short fingerboard and it's easy to do, hang on to the back of it. But for guitars, I made a, a big one, and I put a piece of wood onto it, and so you can hold on to this thing, and it works the same way. It's a flat file, and what you're doing is just filing the tops of all of these frets until you can see a shiny place where you have made progress and you've hit every fret. And when you can see a flat spot on the top of each fret, you've known now they're all level, flat, I can go on. So you use another tool for that purpose. And this is a little thing that was sold years ago. On one edge of it, it's got for big frets. And for this edge, it's got for small frets. And you take this tool and you run it over the top of each fret one at a time. Kind of rounding off on both ends. See how I lift it up, lift it up. And run it over it and you keep looking at it and you can tell when you have taken that flat spot off you've gone far enough with this file and after you get done filing each and every fret with this file you go another step where you take this is like 220 sandpaper and you start running it up and down all the frets polish them all up they're already round from this file. You just kind of lightly push and see that goes in between the frets, kind of rounds the top. Then you go to some finer paper, say 100 grit. And you keep on polishing. When you get it on down, you can go on down to uh, 600 paper. You've got it good enough. Also, even when you're doing the 600 paper, if you sand it crossways for the last time, you're going to put a nice little touch on it because when people bend the strings, they don't want a lot of grittiness. So you go crossways with that last time through and you got it done. Thank you.